Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to install sound hacks. So this is an exploit that takes control of the sound app that's built into the system. So that being said, you don't need to buy another game in order for this exploit to work. So to install this, you need to go to this website. You're going to go to the preparing your SD card section of it, just scroll down a little bit, and then download the homebrew starter kit. So then you're going to go to your downloads and you should see this. So you can right click on it and click extract all and wait for this to complete. So now you're going to open it up and you're going to copy all of these files inside of it. And you're going to put them on your SD card. So this is the one that I took out of the back of my 3DS. If you have an old 3DS then it would be on the side of it. So if you see anything that says to merge folders or replace items then you can do this for all conflicts. Copy and replace. And you can wait for this to get done. It shouldn't take too long. So then when it's done, you're going to go down a little bit more, and you're going to go to the other app payloads. So on here you're going to enter your console's information exactly as it appears in system settings. So for me, I have a new 11.2.0-35U. So this is what it looks like in system settings for me. So I'm going to click download other app. So I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to rename this to other app dot bin. You don't need to put the dot bin extension because it's already there. So now we're going to go to the sound hacks github page. I'll also have this in the description too. So you're going to download the M4A audio file for your region. At the time of making this video all they have is USA but there's likely going to be other ones available soon. So you can click on this, and you're going to click download. So now I'm going to go back to my downloads, and I'm going to copy both of these files. And I'm going to put them on my SD card, just on the root of it. And click paste, and it should finish. So now I'm going to eject my SD card, and I'll put it back into my console. So now that my SD card is back in my 3DS, I'm going to open up the sound app. So once it's open up, you sh it should detect that there is a file on the SD card. And then this file called like Nedwill2016 should show up. So you're going to click on that, and it should load you into the homebrew launcher. So yeah, that's it. It should load and the app should work. So you can scroll through them to make sure that they all show up, to make sure that they load properly and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if this helped you, subscribe for more videos like this, and comment if you have a problem, or if you want to help other people with the problems that they're having. And I'll see you next time.